Welcome back. Glad you're still watching RTV News. I'm Mishima Klemo, your guest anchor tonight. On the international scene, this Friday, a funeral was held for Al Jazeera journalist Shirin Abuakle, who was shot dead in the West Bank city of Jenin during an Israeli raid. Palestinian American journalist Shirin Abuakle was fatally shot while covering a raid by Israeli forces in the West Bank on Thursday. Abu Akhle was buried at the Mount Zion uh, Protestant Cemetery next to her parents. Yeah, you're I'm giving grateful. us hits after hits. Yeah. Who writes your songs? Me and Clema. You and Clema. Yeah, we exchange ideas in the studios. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You and Clema, you seem to be actually having a very special relationship. You're probably one of the guys who have stayed longer in Kenya music. I don't think I'm uh, I stayed longer, yeah. but because uh, there, there are other artists who are who have been there for a long yeah. time, yeah. like Platini, like uh, Tom Close. But uh, I'm looking forward to to stay there for a long time too. We don't see Mutwari in the title or whatever. It is Mutwari. Is that yeah. the street language that you're actually yeah. bringing into? Yeah, who came up uh, with this whole idea now. It's it's Clem actually. Really? He, yeah, he, he... Such a genius. Yeah, of course. He is. He does well, yeah. Clema, <laughs> a lot of praises for you right there. Um, how does it make you feel? Every other art, a masterpiece of a music. I, I think in this country you've had an impact on it, you've touched it. And looking at what um, uh, my brother Nell was telling me that back then, you're such a genius when it comes to not only production but also writing music. Well, thank, thank you. <laughs> Um, uh, it's hard to say that you, you that yourself, but a yeah. few, few songs I've written uh, yeah. for uh, some of my artists or even other artists yeah. uh, that did well. So I'm, I'm glad that I contributed. So uh, you guys, uh, the Kina, the Krema that was being talked about, <laughs> this is the man right here. Uh, Krema is uh, Krema Ishimwe is the CEO of Run. Um, Sorry, um, uh, Kina Music. It's a, a production house. This guy has. How long have you been in the industry? So I started music production in 2005. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Is this something you studied? You went to school to do? I I did. Um, I I took a year of training. Yeah. But also I took uh, classes of um, uh, piano. So I'm a, I'm a pianist in. Uh, uh, before I started producing music, yeah. so it, it came like that. Can you even remember, um, uh, so you, you, you hear the song in the background, that's the song by Norris, but it's one of my favorites, and Norris is actually the wife. Um, is that the song you also wrote and produced? Yes, I did. Everything? Yes. And she just had to present her nice voice? And, and do the singing. Obviously, she looks even better. Yeah. I would, <laughs> I would what, was, um, was, because that's more like an indirect way of saying, you know, I love this guy, but I cannot approach him. Uh -huh. Was it directly yeah, yeah, uh, um, for you? Uh, in our culture, you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's hard for, 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 for a girl to, to, to make the first step. Yeah. So that's what she, she, we wanted to, to communicate to in, the, in, the, in, the, in the song. But uh, still finding ways to like approach the guy in a, yeah. in a different way yeah. that w wouldn't uh, seem um, outrageous. Yeah. So that's what the song is about. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Such a beautiful song if you listen to it. But um, let's talk about you as a person and uh, you know your family. Who is Krema uh, for someone who doesn't know you? Um, Krema is a simple random guy. Yeah. <laughs> We just do music as a, a profession. Yeah. I, I do um, produce music, write, uh, uh, direct videos sometimes. I also, um, I'm a pianist. Yeah. Uh, recently, I'm, I'm also giving classes at the Nyundo uh, School of Arts and Music. Oh. Yeah, production, Super. yes. That's more rewarding, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's good to see that you, you, you well, I'll be seeing future producers yeah. uh, that have contributed uh, yeah. to in the future. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Now, let's talk about your family, family of superstars, you and your wife. Uh, just tell us about getting married to a superstar when you're in the music industry, the challenges, the opportunities as well. Let's, let's talk um, about that. I think I, I would take it as, a, as a, uh, an opportunity for yeah. both of us because um, uh, I understand her, her, her type of work, yes. she does as well, because sometimes uh, there's these long hours we spend in the studio yeah. and, and you know, she, she understands because she's a musician and also her, if she, 
she needs to go shoot videos or yeah. she needs to go uh, do concerts anywhere. So I, there's that understanding that it's it would be rare to find them in, in someone who is not a musician. Yeah. So I think that's uh, a positive side of, of the things. Yeah. The um, less pleasant side of it is just that uh, now that we have kids, sometimes yeah. they don't see us as they should. Yeah. Because we are spending hours, either someone is traveling or traveling or someone else is uh, in the studio. So it gets a bit, sometimes it gets really busy. But otherwise, we, you know, we're trying. Interesting. Yeah. So now, this song, the reason why I put it, it up, um, the song of uh, Nerengabo and uh, what's, what's the name? Fireman. The Fireman. Yes. I saw you tweet about it so much. Mm -hmm. And it sort of portrays the, the message that mm -hmm. artists are underappreciated in yes. this country. Yes. Um, and I'm told that you actually had, had a hand in writing it and producing mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. What message did you actually want to portray? So, um, I wouldn't say that they are, they are not appreciated in this country, but um, we are actually happy that we are, we are where we are now, because yeah. it, it wasn't like this few years back. So we, when we started, we were the first generation to do this as, as uh, professionally, because yeah. before you know anyone that would do music, they were attached to um, um, a lot of negative uh, 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 comments perception. and perception and all yeah. that. So we, we had to go through a lot of challenges to be where we are now. Uh, that's what we were uh, singing about in the yeah. song. Because, you know, uh, people would ask you, uh, why do you do music? You don't have anything else to do. Or, or either you didn't yeah. go to school, that's why you're doing this. Yeah. But now it's changing uh, uh, slowly. And, and we are glad because uh, now we, we are seeing even parents now yeah. are taking their kids to uh, to learn uh, music in schools. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah. Where would you want the Rwandan music to be uh, as a producer um, behind it? I think the, the potential is there to to, to be uh, 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 some of the biggest or even the biggest in in, in, in Africa. Yeah. It's just a matter of time and, and investment and uh, and skills and um, uh, learning how elsewhere is being uh, done, and we'll get there definitely. Because if you look at uh, the uh, 10 years back or even 15, or I don't know, it, it's different. How, how we're doing it now, and uh, you, you know, we used to listen to a lot of international uh, yeah. musicians, but it's quite different now. You can listen to radios and you'll hear between 70 and 80% of uh, local music, yeah. which is amazing. And it's, they don't do it because they are forced to or anything. It's just because we are working hard uh, to change that. And one thing I must say that I appreciate is that, you know, when you travel in the region, at least you go out in a club or a pub, you get to hear these songs being played. And it's such a, you know, you could not hear that five, ten years no, no, ago. No. Yeah. It's such an achievement and yeah. you actually, you have to appreciate Thanks. people like you who put in a lot of work behind the scene. Thank you. Do you want to sing at some point? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually used to in, uh, in, 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 in choirs yeah. when I was in high school. Yeah. But I, I, I just decided that, you know, let me just focus on production and, and uh, developing other talents. Yeah. But singing wasn't my thing. Okay. I only sing in the studio. You yeah. talked about high school. I want to know which schools did you attend very quickly. Um, I did uh, a pass. It's yeah. an Adventist school. I did Mudende. Um, um, uh, uh, it's yeah. an Adventist university too. Yeah. So I finished my my uh, uh, university at ULK. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you plan to continue studying or something? I might if, if I get uh, uh, in enough time with, yeah. <laughs> with the music. So yeah. what did you do at the university? I did IT. Interesting. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So you're such an IT person who is so much into music. Unfortunately, I didn't get the chance to, to use my uh, degree in, <laughs> in IT, but I did IT. Yeah. Yes. So uh, what I wanted to tell you, Kramer, with people like you and your fellows who are into the production, we appreciate for what you're doing for thank the you. random music, for the artists, and the reason we brought you here is to actually say thank you on behalf of every other. Thank you. Uh, you, you should be the, pre the representation of all producers. Thank you. Thank you for making our nights fun. And you know, it's Friday, I think we should go out and dance Definitely. with some of you. <laughs> Do you have something coming up very quickly? Yes, we have a song dropping next week for Nell. Yeah. Exactly, we are called Fresh. Oh. We have others for uh, Platini, Go also is, uh, is coming back with yes. uh, a lot of tunes, so stay tuned. How many artists do you have in Kenya Music? We have five, and uh, this year is a surprise, but uh, we might add uh, a few more. 
Interesting. So currently you have Nell, you have Nell, your Ibo, wife. Yes. Uh, you have your godma, but no, you have Platini, Platini and Tom Close. And Tom Close. Yes. More to come. Yes. This year. <sighs> Uh, dear viewers, I think that's it. That's all we had for you from me and uh, my guest anchor, uh, Kremar of Kina Music. This guy is such a genius. When it comes to writing and producing, I've been looking forward to hosting this guy. And please follow him. That's all the songs that you're seeing and many more. Do you even know the number of songs you produced? Uh, it's hard, you know, starting from 2005 up to now, it's hard. A few hundreds? Yes. Maybe a thousand? Probably. Probably, yeah. Thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. Thank you. And thank you for accepting to sit in this seat. I <laughs> hope you enjoyed it. Me. It, was, it was a tough one. It was a tough yeah. one. Yeah. No, you did great. Thank you. you. Great. Thank you. Until next time, I'm Ethan Tashebi and, of course, uh, Kremar Ishimi right here and the entire news production team. Many thanks indeed uh, for your company. I'm Ethan Tashebi. Bye for now. <laughs>